Hi all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your daily vibes for the 17th. It is 7-17, July 17th, it's Tuesday. This reading is um, for all signs. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid, so whenever you watch this reading and whenever it resonates with you, also, uh, if this reading feels right, it's right. If it feels wrong, it's wrong. I do need to mention, you know, yesterday's Daily Vibes was about being fake. You know, the fakeness in the world. Everybody, you know, not being truthful. Hiding their truth. I did a reading last night for a sign, and there was a lot of passion in that reading. There was passion in my voice. There was disdain in my voice there was a lot of emotion shown in my in my voice in my tone and the majority the high majority accepted it was good with it loved it but there was a few of course there's always a few there's always going to be some people that refuse to wake up, that refuse to accept their truth, that refuse to be real, that want to be coddled, that want to live by the superficial lack, superficiality of society, you know, this is how it should be said, this is how it should be done, you know, I had a comment that said, your, your groaning is less than desirable, I I'm going to speak the truth with whatever tone comes out of my mouth. I refuse to be fake. I refuse to adhere to what you think I should be. And I suggest that you follow my lead. Somebody is healing, letting go of sorrow. It's the end of a difficult time. The burden is being dropped. This is the this is the Hierophant. The Ten of Wands reversed, the Three of Swords reversed, the Hierophant reversed. There's lack of faith, lack of belief. It's disbelief, disbelief. Somebody may not be listening to their inner guide like they should be. Maybe it's, it's time to not follow the traditional approach. You know, the Hierophant is all about traditions. And it's funny, I started this reading out with that little spiel. Maybe it's time to make your own traditions. Maybe the traditional approach didn't work in the past. Something didn't work. Jeez, I'm crow. Now, I'm sure I'm going to get a comment. These are all reversed. You did it on purpose. No, I've been flipping them like I always do. Keep your naysaying bullshit to yourself. There's an absence of faith. There's an absence of trust because somebody has been through a difficult period. When you get cards in reversal, there's an absence. Okay. Justice reversed. Dishonesty. I don't want to be held accountable in accountability. Things are unbalanced. 
somebody is unable to make a decision, unable to do the right thing. That's what this is. It's an injustice. Something is an injustice. We have the Queen of Cups reversed. Lack of uh, ability to master emotions. Lack of compassion. Lack of love, perhaps. This could be lack of self-love. Victim mentality. You notice I flip, I shuffle, I flip the bottom pile. I shuffle, I flip the bottom pile. So for those of you naysayers that say that I'm doing this on purpose, open your eyes. Come on now. You only see what you want to see, right? Anything to be a naysayer, anything to bring another person down. That's your own problem. <laughs> it is. That's your own issue. You know, I've been flipping and flipping and flipping, and I've used this deck many, many, many times. Okay. So at least we got two uprights. Seven of Swords. Oh, of course it's upright. Of course. <sighs> King of Swords reversed. The Chariot reversed. The Seven of Swords upright. The Knight of, of Cups upright. And the Five of Cups reversed. There could be a new opportunity. This could be a new prospect. Like I said, somebody's coming out of a difficult period. They are. There's an opportunity for love here. For those of you that are looking for love. There's an, op there's an offer that could be coming in. A message could be coming of love. But there's been some sort of deceit. There's been some sort of shady behavior that has caused someone to lose faith in a commitment. Let me just fix this up for you the best I can. Somebody's been indecisive, you know, really, really in their head, not being logical, unable to move forward to replace their fear with faith. Again, there's lack of faith. Again, again somebody is not able to master their emotions. Somebody's emotions are... A muck. I mean, it's a complete wreck. There's like, things are, they're unable to find victory and success to drop these burdens. Burdens, these burdens need to be dropped. But that's going to take strength. And there's absolutely a lack of strength here. There's a lack of willpower. There's a lack of discipline. I can't master my emotions to face the truth, to take action. There's no action being taken. Somebody is wearing a mask. And that, you know, there's there's a terrible, terrible injustice because of it. There is. There's an opportunity for relationship growth or a new relationship. If somebody would stop deceiving, if somebody would have faith, if somebody would, would listen to their inner guide, but somebody's not, somebody's not. They're staying in this spot of regret. It's time to let go of this sorrow. It's time to let go of this hurt. It's time to be logical and stop hurting yourself. Somebody has been hurting themselves by not making any moves. Not moving forward. It's a time of personal freedom. If you decide, you have to decide to drop those burdens. You have to make that decision to do so. There's an opportunity for love with the Five of Cups reversed. You know, it's if you look, I mean, you see at the end, there's the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Can you see it? No, you can't. 
because you're focused down here. You're looking down here. There's an opportunity. There's a golden opportunity. But you have to realize it. And you may be beginning to realize it within reverse, that something has been an injustice, that there's been some dishonesty, that there's been some lies or whatever. Somebody may beginning, be beginning to realize it. Now, the Knight of Cups could be, could be somebody coming in to offer love. It could be. But it looks as though somebody is really in their head about it. Should I or shouldn't I? Should I or shouldn't I? There's been some feuds, there's been some fighting, there's been some upset. There's been a lack of abundance, a lack of stability, and a lack of security in your home, in your life. It's time to complete that cycle and let the, let the, let the cycle end. Complete it. This is a 10 and this is a 10. They're both reversed. It's time to let go of these feuds. It's time to let go of these fights. It's time to just let it go. Somebody uh, has made some conscious changes with the Ten of Wands reversed. Made conscious changes to let go of the past or let go of these burdens or something like that. And now they're they're headed towards a much better place. Okay, this is moving to a much better place, where things are a lot calmer. No, getting out of this this storm. You know, the storm is ending. It is. The storm is absolutely ending. Headed towards peace, but still indecisive. Complex decision still in decision making mode I, I really would like to move forward for this but I lack, I lack faith I lack faith I would, I would like to move forward but I lack faith because there's been some, some sneaky shady behavior that needs to be dealt with <coughs> oh Here we have the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Doesn't matter what sign you're dealing with. Somebody is a, a making a decision whether to master their emotions, face their fears, take that step forward or not. It's decision making time. Now we have three sevens, okay? The Chariot is a seven, the Seven of Swords, and the Seven of Cups. It is 717. This is a divinely guided message. This is a divinely guided time. It's time for you to follow your truth. It's time for you to listen to your intuition. It's time for you to make a decision. It's time for you to follow your intuition, your inner guide. Now, the Queen of Cups and the Hierophant. They're both about intuition, inner guide, whatever. They're both reversed. Why? Why are they reversed? They're reversed because somebody is refusing to have faith, to believe in what they know. Fear is the driving factor with the chariot reversed. It is. And it's only causing hurt. It's causing more hurt. It's time to be confident. It's time to hold your head up high. It's time to be focused. Take the lead. Be the boss. Get creative. You know, I feel as though there is, there is somebody that is needing 
to follow their passion. The father, oh, the father, Aries, this is the emperor, you know, and then if you look, he's looking, he's looking this way, he's looking at the decision. I believe there's a man, and I think it's a man, I do, that, and it could be any sign, I think it is a man that is make, trying to decide whether he should make a move, whether he should move on. With what he should do. There is a man that is trying to make a decision as to what is going to bring stability, what is going to what is going to bring structure to his life. This is decisive. Somebody is a man is trying to make a decision right now. Is in decision making mode. About where his heart lies, about where to offer his love. But there has absolutely been an injustice with the, with the justice reversed and the seven of swords reversed. A terrible injustice. Somebody has done something wrong and they're going to have to own up to it. To find peace and serenity. It's going to have to be dealt with. Take the lead. Somebody is needing to take the lead. The emperor is the boss. He takes the lead. He, he makes the move. He's the deciding factor. Queen of Swords reversed. Rebirth, the judgment reversed. Somebody is bitter, upset, angry. Not being logical, refusing to see things from a new perspective because of their hurt. I've been so hurt that I cannot let go of this animosity. There's been a lot of fights, there's been a lot of feuds, but it's time to lay that burden down. With the Ten of Wands, lay that burden down. Ten of Wands reverse, and goodbye. Judgment reverse, it's like forgiveness is needed here. Forgiveness is needed. Can I forgive? Forgiveness brings serenity. Forgiveness brings peace. But somebody has to make a conscious change, make a conscious choice to forgive. These lies, this deceit, the cheating, the betrayal. Forgiveness is needed. But somebody lacks faith that this person will forgive. Understandable. Understandable. So I feel like today is a day of... Um, making a decision. Okay, somebody needs to make a decision, and I happen to think it's a male. Or it's somebody with a very masculine energy. It's the masculine that needs to make a decision. They're going through a complex decision-making time in which they are lacking faith that they will be accepted. You know, that they will be forgiven for their... I mean, we all know what the card means. The Seven of Swords. It's, it's lies. It's cheating. It's deception. It's betrayal. Will I be forgiven? That's the judgment reversed. Will I be forgiven? At the bottom of the deck, I just happened to turn it over as the Four of Wands. There's an opportunity for a commitment. There's an opportunity for happiness, contentment, perhaps even marriage. I don't know who this is for. 
there's an opportunity for a coming together. It's like it's meant to be. It's magical. Let's get some of these. Remember that if this reading feels right, it's right. If it feels wrong, it's wrong. It may not be your reading. It's time to let go of this sorrow. It's time to let this heal. It's time to drop this burden. It's time to make a conscious change. It's time, time to make this complex decision. Get out of your head. Face your fears. Deal with the injustice. Deal with the karma. Understand that there is a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. But you have to take the lead. You have to be the boss. And the, the divine masculine has to take the lead. That's what this is. The female is a rat. She's in her head. She's hurting. And she's probably bitter because of it. She's been hurt and betrayed. You bet your ass her, her guard is up. And it should be. It should be. That doesn't mean she won't forgive. Because there's, there's, there could be forgiveness with this card. Forgiveness of the harm that was done. To allow healing to happen. Love makes the difference. Love can help heal past hurts and provides a sense of security, self-worth, and importance. Love makes the difference. Love can help heal past hurts. Right? We already know that. It's decision making time. Oh, should we take them all? I guess I can't say no, can I? I can't deny what comes out <laughs> out of my mouth or out of my hand. We already talked about that. Right? Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Healing family issues. And there is, there is, with the ten, there's been issues, family issues with the Ten of Pentacles reversed. Healing family issues. Let me clear this card up for just a second. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Your love life benefits as you forgive. 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 Love can help heal past hurts with forgiveness. Honeymoon. Maybe you're going to go on a retreat with someone. Maybe there's going to be a proposal. Maybe this is your dream come true. I don't know. This is an opportunity to enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. This could be a mini vacation. This is, you know, getting to know each other again. I don't know what this is. You figure that one out. And last, but not least, true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. What are you scared of? What are you scared of? The truth coming out? The best way to forgiveness and healing is to put it on the table. Speak the truth. In many decks, and this is the truth being revealed with it reversed or upright. This is the judgment card. Reveal the truth so that it can be healed. In many decks, the 
the judgment card is labeled truth. Rebirth. There's an opportunity for healing, forgiveness, and rebirth, even though it's in reverse. If someone can take the mask off, and let it all out. Let it all out. That's what I have for today. I don't know who this is for. It will not resonate with everybody, but it will resonate with many. Bye.